fucking quit. I'll never flip burgers again if that's a game that I'm playing to win. My name is King Twitch. Yeah, thanks for calling, bitch. But I gotta get to ball the bitch. My name is King Twitch. I'll never hold a scan ever again. You won't believe the state my plan to present. My name is King Twitch. Now you can't get 20 on 10. I'm fucking out. I've got plenty to spend. My name is King. What's up, world? Adam, aka King Twitch, lead singer of the metal band Strange Skies, beatbox artist, and rap lyricist extraordinaire. Yes, I am shamelessly showing off my red bottoms I got for a ridiculous discount at a thrift store. Thank you for noticing. Aren't they pretty? Welcome back to Triple Crown Productions King Twitch Reacts. This is the channel where we do reactions and demonstrations. As you probably know, if you've already been here to this channel before, which based on my viewership, I doubt that you have unless you're one of the 43 subscribers to my channel currently, which in that case, you're getting added to the Christmas card, buddy. We're going to be reviewing just a, a plethora, a hodgepodge, a batch, a bunch, a nice little package of memes. And then, once we're done with the memes, I've got a talent demonstration for you. This time, I'm going to be doing a rap verse. I figure you get enough metal with Strange Skies. We do enough. There's stuff out there. Let's get this rap stuff going. Without any further ado, let's get into these memes. My name is King Twitch. Friend, don't post that. You're just going to stir the pot. Me, stirring the pot. Yep. <laughs> Give that pot a nice stir. Get that nice aroma going. Let it fumigate the air. Come on, everybody. Breathe it in. Oh, smell that shit pot. So tell me more about yourself. Me trying to remember who I am. <laughs> Every interview I've ever had. I'm just, uh... Um... I don't know what to do with my hands. They probably thought I was mentally deficient or something. Like, this guy's on drugs. Get him out of here. Get out of here, druggie. With your stuttering and mumbling and your twitching, that faraway look in your eye. I'm not trying to end up tied up in a closet one day. Nine-year-old fills chapstick tube with cheese to eat in class. <laughs> no great genius has ever existed without some touch of madness, Aristotle. <laughs> I believe that's true. That's 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 very true and good on you. Good on you, old buddy. Way to get away with eating cheese in class. And that is a perfect cheese district applicator thing. There's a proper word for that somewhere. I'm, I can't vocabulary right now. But, yeah. Good job, little buddy. Genius. Freddy, after entering my dreams and seeing stuff he wasn't mentally equipped to deal with. <laughs> you think you're scary, Freddy? Welcome to my world, bitch! What it look like I do for a living? Terrorize the Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say he looks like Mojo Jojo? Can you say that? <laughs> oh my god, get it off my screen. <laughs> How to find Kentucky on a map. Chef hat, head, shirt, pants, boots, pan, and Kentucky Fried Chicken right here. Yep, that's right. Tennessee is the pan to our chicken. That is, that's how that works. We are the important thing, the chicken, what everybody wants. Tennessee is the tool used to get the job done. That's that's how that goes, how you like that, Tennessee. And then the rest of it is just the perfect representation for its respective body parts. Because over here we've got Missouri, and they're just, the stomach is the perfect representation for, for Missouri. And then Arkansas, you've, you've got a lot of asses and dicks and pussies in Arkansas. That's just a fact. Let's just go ahead and admit that. Um, I'm just playing country. You know I love you. Imagine waking up one morning, having a stretch and opening your bedroom curtains, and there in your window plant box are three sleeping squirrels. <laughs> I have three new pets. I'm going to give them all acorns. I'm going to name them Bob, George, and Jorge. Yeah, that's right. 
Third one's name is Jorge. Deal with it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but that's his name. Hits blunt. Do clothes in China say made around the corner or some shit? <laughs> I've seen that on another meme, but they didn't use a retarded mountain goat. <laughs> Talking about a mountain goat, I can say the word retarded. Don't tell me what words I can say. Retarded. Mexican company creates disposable utensils from avocado seeds that biodegrade in 240 days. That's freaking cool. Ha I mean, well, I, I want to know what the process is for pulverizing an avocado seed and turning it into plasticware. That's awesome. I saw something else about bamboo water bottles, and some snowflake was actually complaining, The bamboo is the panda bear's food! You're taking its food! You know we can grow more bamboo, right? Bamboo farms can be created for the purpose of turning them into biodegradable water bottles. That's just easy to think about if you've got the brain cell capacity for critical thinking. If you're able to put cause and effect together, A plus B equals fish, you can figure your way through this shit without going online and posting some nonsensical Karen-esque tirade about something that you don't have any factual information on. So please, that's my public service announcement for the day. Do some research and maybe shut up a little bit. Yeah? Alright, cool. If the smoke is pink, it's a girl. If it's blue, it's a boy. What does it mean when the smoke is black? <laughs> Dude on the left looks very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Dude in the middle looks very confused. Uh, why is it why is it black? Uh Greg, uh, I've been meaning to tell you something, man. Um remember you went for that business trip to uh, Hawaii a while back? Um yeah, about eight and a half months ago. Um, yeah, you remember how you wanted me to house sit? Uh, enough, man, you know, that's not important. I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. Just enjoy the moment. In nature, poisonous creatures will often develop bright colors to warn others of their toxicity. Up here we have a venomous, vibrant blue cobra of some kind. You can tell by looking at it that it's toxic. It's full of venom. It will kill you dead with one strike. And then to the top right, we have something of similar nature. It's another snake. It's got vibrant yellow and black and it pops against anything so that you see it coming a mile away. Over here, we've got this purple frog that looks like it's something straight out of the Matrix or something. I don't know, something equally ethereal. Uh, Narnia. I don't know, wherever you might get... So, wherever there might be something like a neon purple frog common, <laughs> but it looks like something straight out of a storybook, and it is designed to tell you that this thing is deadly. It will destroy your body. And then over here to the bottom right, you have this Genicus snowflakesicus, and it's natural habitat with its very unnatural purplish blue looking like a gas station snow cone haircut and then you've got this bull ring that just lets you know that this is an aggressive animal right here look the toxicity has even permeated her eyebrows they the, the wildlife preserve that's responsible for overseeing these creatures had to give her special tags in her ears so that you understand if it wasn't clear enough from the hair and the bull ring and the thing through her lip that lets you know she likes pain and she wants you to strike back. If it wasn't for that, these things in her ears, they're, they're special signals to let you know to stay clear away from this particular breed of animal. When no one liked your meme, but then you see it, living its best life on someone else's timeline. <laughs> right? We told you a threesome would be too much for you, but you kept yelling, I'm Batman! It was dark, and you grabbed the wrong ass, Clark! That's why I was shouting, I'm Batman, I'm Batman! <laughs> Me. Love and light. Also me. I'll flip all this shit up! <laughs> yep. That's me. Me in a nutshell. <laughs> I have been told I'm a lot like... I can't say that. I can't say that. You can expect me to either work well with others or pass a drug test, but not both. 
<laughs> Facts. <laughs> how do you expect me to work well with others if I have to tolerate them sober? And how do you how do you expect me to pass a drug test if I have to be around other human beings all day? Like, I mean, you can't have it both ways, man. Like I used to tell my old supervisor at a restaurant I worked at. Do you want it done fast or do you want it done right? Well, do you do you want them to do you want me sober or do you want everyone else to remain uninjured? So let's make a decision here. All right, so the top left here we've got Spider-Man reading Atlas, sitting all cross-legged like the soy boy he is, and then the phone rings. Hey, is Uncle Ben at home? No, he's at the theater with your parents. Oh, sad Batman. <laughs> what, you think you can play Spider-Man like that? You think Spider-Man's a punk? Spider-Man's a savage, son. Spider-Man gonna make you cry, you little bat bitch. Or fuck web your ass. All right, so it looks like we've got Sandra Bullock. What's going on here? When it's time to fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh, shit. What's, what's happening? Let's unpack this picture. We've got a girl holding a candle. And then Sandra Bullock looking at her like that. I don't remember what movie this is a scene from. I have no idea. I can't place it. I am lost. For all I know, Sandra could be thinking about putting that little girl in an oven like the Wicked Witch. I don't know. Sandra Bullock might live in a gingerbread house. She's that kind of celebrity. She's got gingerbread house money. Maybe she has contractors come out and build her a new gingerbread house once a month, and then she just gradually eats it. She saves the corners and the roof for last so that she still has shelter. And in the last week, she waits for a dry week so she won't get rained on, and it's just binging gingerbread. And then, end of that week, contractor comes back out, builds her a new house. That's how it goes in Sandra's world. Me looking at the imaginary camera every time something crazy happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the imaginary camera that follows me around and records my life so that it can be posted to the imaginary reality TV show where I have an imaginary network of 10 million fans. No, 100 million. We're going imaginary. Let's go for big here. I've got 100 million fans, and I've got an imaginary theme song that just follows me around and plays everywhere I go, and it changes the music to fit the situation. Dun, dun, dun. I think I figured out where guitar picks come from. <laughs> that would be a great way for two industries to work together, wouldn't it? Look at that. Look how many guitar picks you can get out of one laundry basket. That could supply a musician for an entire month. <laughs> See what I did there? When you show up to work high AF. <laughs> Look at that, look at that face. <laughs> he is buttered, his toast is burnt, <laughs> his buns are toasted. He is zooted and tooted. You've heard of, you've heard of the phrase suited and booted. He is zooted and tooted. <laughs> He's holding the coffee cups up, upside down. <laughs> There's nothing even, that's proof. There's nothing even in these cups. These people are just acting like they're drinking something. They're just holding empty cups. What kind of weirdos just hold, go on camera holding empty cups. What, is it, is it supposed to make it feel more morning-ish? Is that it? Is it supposed to, uh, uh, good morning America, hope you've got your coffee. We're holding these coffee cups so that you remember to go buy coffee and drink it. Not because it's amazing or anything, which it is, but because we want you to buy coffee and perpetuate the coffee market because we care about money. Not your, okay, I'm getting a little too extreme here. Yeah, that dude's, that, that dude's, Muffin is buttered. My name is King Twitch. All right, that brings us to the end of another reaction video. How did you like this one? Did you find something that just tanned your hiney? Did you find something that just sang you a lullaby and cradled you to sleep? Just shh, shh. Maybe you found something that tickled your pickle. Maybe you found something that wedged your pickle and served it with a burger and a side of fries. Yeah, it gets dark around here. And now, as promised at the beginning of the video, a talent demonstration. I've got a rap verse for you. So go ahead, strap in, make sure that your table trays are in their upright and locked positions. 
we're about to get this thing going. Let's get into this demonstration. My name is King Twitch. It starts with a notion, like a tingle in my head, like a drop in an ocean. But it spreads like a ripple effect, and so I take into the sip of the potion and scribble with this pen until I'm seeing red chasing, trying to capture this emotion and immortalize it. Cause I feel like I'm in the sky's been I'm floating on my own beat, head bobbing to some dopeness. Focus, my thoughts are running away. I'm getting off topic. What am I trying to say? I'm babbling nonsense. I know there's gotta be a deeper meaning to this feeling that's inside of me. Slow motion, as I begin to zone, I can feel every word went through every bone, like they're a part of me. My heart skipping beats to this rhythm, I can feel it taking over me. Just please leave me alone, I'm in my zone. I can get lost for days in my zone. Spirit speaking through me in my zone. I do me in my zone, I love to be in my zone. When you see me nod and stay away, cause I don't wanna hear a word you say. Because I've got this new hit on replay Running through my brain every minute of the day My name is King Twitch King, T-W exclamation point T-C-H Why don't you go ahead and hit that like button Hit that subscribe button Go check out facebook.com forward slash the real King Twitch And facebook.com forward slash strange skies band you also want to go ahead and check out the King Twitch single releases. I've got them all over YouTube, all over your favorite streaming platforms provided by DistroKid. And you want to go ahead and check out the Strange Skies EP, Disclosure, Deception. Every track on it is a bona fide banger. And I think your favorite is going to be Giant's Bread. Why don't you go ahead and check that one out? You can check out samples of the songs uh at strangeskiesband.com we've got all the information about our backstory bunch of cool uh, pictures and things that we've done and we've also got a new lyric visual video for the song Disclosure Deception the title track from the EP that is uh, Available to the public now, or if not, it will be soon, I believe. I've got to check with Sean, but um, be sure that you check that out. Show that some love. Until next time, oh, Wally Palooza, April 19th, last ever Wally Palooza Festival, Springfield, Tennessee. 10 p.m., the headlining spot, Strange Skies, is going to be tearing the stage up. Why don't you come out and join us so you can see us doing what we does. And until next time, stay strange, stay royal, Twitch out. Peace! Burn.